Hello, family. This is Kurt with your personal financial weekly episode, right? Um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for um, your comments on last week's uh, post. Um, I'll be quick here today, but um, just want to expand on last week. Last week, we talked about the power of the rule of 72, which um, is about the power of compounding interest, right? Today, we'll go over how that should work for you in an ideal environment, right? That means that what is the best way to save in order to maximize the power of the rule of 72, the power of the rule of compounding work for you in your personal finances and in you getting where you want to go. So uh, without further ado, let me share this whiteboard here and get into it. So there is three ways that your money grows. So we're gonna talk about today is how money grows, right? Now, the first way that money grows is called fixed. Fixed is normally a low, low interest, right? Anywhere from one to 3%. Um, and it is pretty much flat. I mean, this line is a little exaggerated. I could actually uh, make it more fixed. It's more really low as opposed to the other lines we're going to talk about. Now, fix is your savings account, your money market, your CDs, something that you know the kind of returns you're going to get. The other way that money grows is variable. Uh, V-A-R-I-A-B-L-E, variable. Variable is something like your 401ks or, or your 403bs, your IRA, that kind of stuff, right? Um, something that's normally in the market. Now, that goes up, down up, down, sometimes way down, then up, down, and 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 hopefully, hopefully, you know, when you retire and it's going up, right? So that is variable. A lot of times when you, you do something in variable, you get you get between four to seven percent interest, right? Now keep that in mind, these numbers in mind, because we're talking about the rule of 72 which is on the last video that, that I shared with you last week. Now, the other way to go is index. Now, index is where the money goes up when the market is going up. When the market goes down, your money stays standard. And then from there, your money goes up when the market goes up and then flat when the market goes down and then up when the market goes up and then flat and then up when the market goes up. So in an index account, you know, you're talking anywhere from uh, six to 15%. Now, these are averages. It could do more and normally about maybe a little less. I mean, uh, but the bottom line is you're, not, you're never going to lose any money because of these um plateaus right so that's how your money grows now if you want the rule of 72 to to work for you you got to put your stuff in index you got to put most of your dollars somewhere in index the the problem is that most people haven't heard of index right i didn't hear of index until four and a half years ago now the issue is um most of the people that I know, most of the people that the circles I used to run with all had their money in this variable side right here. Now, the variable side is like this. Um, if you go to buy a car and they tell you that, hey, this is a beautiful, nice looking car, you know, but it's only going to run some days. Some days it will start, some days it won't start. Some days it will run like a charm, and then other days it will be like, mm, right? It can't even get out the driveway. Would you buy that car? Well, the word variable means up, down, 
sometimes good, sometimes bad. And and so the, the 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 stuff about it is that the majority of Americans since since they went to this um to this uh 401k model as your retirement, which the 401k model was to supplement your pensions. That's how it started. But now it's been hijacked. That's a whole nother story. And so most of the people have their money in this model. And and just at the time of this recording right now, the people in there are feeling it. So I want to encourage you that that if you're saving for long term, if you're committed to your personal financial future, right, you want money compounding for you. And that and compounding without loss would be a good place to be. So that would be over here in the index. If you um, don't know where to find that, like I, I didn't know four and a half years ago, then give me a call. Right, two one zero eight seven zero nine zero six six, and I'll be happy to put you or point you in the direction or help you get it into some kind of index vehicle. Again, next week we're going to talk about the dumb side of the rule of seventy-two, the power of compounding. So enjoy this upside today, family, and next week I'll I'll show you. What are the, the perils of letting the rule of something to work for you in reverse? All right. Be blessed. Thank you for allowing me to serve you with this video today. You have yourself a fantastic day. God bless you.